CW6 News at 4. The biggest game in college football in San Diego, just one day away with the Washington State Cougars playing the Minnesota Gophers at Qualcomm Stadium. The annual National Funding Holiday Bowl attracts thousands of fans. Carlos Correa is live in our newsroom as preparations for the big day are underway. Carlos. Yeah, it's an exciting day for college football fans, especially for those in Washington State and Minnesota who are leaving the cold and snow and trading it in for warmer weather and the great view here in San Diego. Marching bands and spirit squads from both the University of Minnesota and Washington State University are performing a heart-pounding battle of the bands. As students help prepare thousands of fans for the annual National Funding Holiday Bowl taking place at Qualcomm Stadium. We're excited to be down here for the Holiday Bowl for sure. Uh, brought the whole family down, so it's great. Game day starts with the Port of San Diego Holiday Bowl Parade down Harbor Drive. Crews have already started setting things up and preparing to close off streets. Organizers are expecting more than 100,000 people lining up along the parade route. There's a lot of anticipation. Um, we came down on a flight this morning and have a second flight coming down. And so uh, there was a lot of uh, excitement up there in Minneapolis. One, of course, to get out of a snowstorm and two, to come here and cheer on our team. <laughs> Along with the marching bands, the parade features more giant helium-filled character balloons than any other parade in the country. This year's theme is honoring our first responders. Just your typical Pac-12, Big Ten matchup. Pac-12, Washington State's going to want to air it out and throw the ball. Minnesota's going to want to control the ball and keep the pace as slow as possible. Um, but it's so much more than that. New this year at the Holiday Bowl is the National Funding Fan Zone, a spot where fans can enjoy the ultimate pregame party with a craft beer garden, food trucks, and an interactive college football experience. Say what makes our event so successful is we have hundreds of volunteers who make this thing happen. They're all community-minded. They want San Diego to be a better place, and they shine during Bowl Week. And uh, we're in the heart of it right now, and they're working hard uh, to put on the best show possible. Now tonight at 6 at the Horton Park Plaza, the marching bands will be battling it out again. The event is free and open to the public tomorrow. The parade along Harbor Drive starts at 10 a.m. with kickoff at Qualcomm Stadium at 4 p.m. Tickets are still available for the game. Live in the newsroom, Carlos Correa, CW6 News. Welcome all those fans, Carlos. Thanks a lot.